Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Castle Rock with Shell. Castle Talk. I got the name Castle, of the show wrong. Castle, yeah. Castle Talk. Yes, Castle Talk. Castle the episode, the show is called Castle Rock. Castle and Rock. this episode, <laughs> this episode is called Local Color. Um, which was an interesting one. I had no idea where the hell they were going with this. I still don't quite know where they're going with this. It's because of the show on the show. Yeah, I know that, but I don't know what the show. importance of that's going to be, or the importance of Molly Strand's character to begin with. We know, of course, spoilers again, um, we know that Molly killed, uh, what's his nuts, his, uh, adopted father the, the reverend deaver yeah henry deaver's father Pastor um deaver. took the the breathing tube out yeah. also we were wrong in the first episode uh we thought that the uh father that died was henry's original father yeah, but, i was kind of upset biological father but it was actually the reverend so uh, we did catch that in the second episode yes, yes. but um the some some interesting things with with that is we still don't know what happened with his family life so exactly. I'm, I'm still wondering how that came about I mean if he was living with them when all that stuff happened then I mean was he born in in Maine or was he adopted somewhere else where was he living in Texas when he was a kid I mean now, is that why he does went he back? have some kind of past that caused him to go into the system and then yeah. he got adopted out of the system yeah that, that stuff. Um, questionable here. We find out Molly Strand is an empath. Uh, she hears memories and can feel other people's feelings. There are several different uh, scenes like that. Uh, one of the more interesting ones is when they're younger and she clenches her fist when he clenches his fist. Um, and then uh, what What was some of the other oh, stuff? Oh, he when, burnt himself and she yeah. felt it. Uh, with, with what, the match? Yeah. 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 Um, and then when he's talking to her, when he first meets her again after he's come back, and they're talking, and she's just completely, she can't pay attention to what he's yeah. actually saying, and he she's takes it the wrong way. I actually like that scene. Yeah. Quite a bit. Um, and she, Molly, the, the lady who plays Molly um, was in another movie. What, what was it called? Netflix. Movie, I don't feel comfortable uh, in this world anymore, or whatever. At home anymore, or something that, like that. Another she one. She played another really awkward lady, not very not social and all that stuff. It's uh, it's interesting to see her play that character on something different and how that character fits into this world. But not only that, but on that show, she gets bro her house gets broken into, too. Yeah, so it was right weird. It's kind of like a deja vu thing for me. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to find Needful Things, the, the movie. But I'm pretty sure Molly Strand is a kind of like, um, maybe not even, not a twinner, but maybe... Um, I don't, I don't know how to put it. Maybe she's another version of Polly Chalmers um, from Needful Things because she's wearing a necklace that re reminds me very strongly of the necklace that Polly wears in the movie Needful Things. She gets a, a necklace also in the, uh, in the book, but in the movie specifically, I think they use the same necklace, and she fits the description other than she doesn't have the arthritis. But I'm wondering if maybe, you know, the, there's a little throwback there also. Um, I thought I caught something with the dates that are mentioned at one point in time. Um, it's 11 uh, yeah. uh, He sets on, fire... On the videotape. On the videotape yeah. that he sets fire to. And, um, of course, that's 26 years I from 11 I know it was on that tape because he says something along the lines of cursing out his dad as he's burning the tape. Yeah. So it's like... Okay, uh, what'd you just do? Right. Um, but that is 26 years. I, I did the math wrong there at first. I thought it was 27 years between 11-22-63, which is another one of Stephen King's books. Um, but it's only 26 years. I was like, is there some kind of Pennywise thing they're throwing in there? Because Pennywise comes back. Right. Then again, there would be 26 years in between. If it's every 27 years, right. there would be 26 years in between, and he would be coming back on the 27th year. So, so is there something there? I don't know. That'd be cool if yeah. it was, though. Um, but the book, it happens in 56, I think. So that would screw up the timeline there. Unless, of course, they're shooting for the timeline of the reboot television series and that's in 86 i think it's somewhere in mid 80s i don't i don't remember we'd have to, i'd have to do the math um but it'd be 27 years from uh from back back from 2017 y'all do the math y'all comment down there we're gonna, we're gonna move along 
Uh, I, I discussed in the last one, I think Nick, um, we find out they call him Nick in this one, uh, Bill Skarsgård's character. Um, I think he's either Randall Flagg or some, either he's an offshoot of the Crimson King or he is a Crimson King, we don't know. Um, we know that uh, Lacey put him down there and we know that Lacey told him to look up, what's his face, Henry Deaver, I keep forgetting dude's yes. name. Um, but it, the, that's all my notes for, for that, but here's the thing, here's my biggest problem with the show so far. There's not, there's really nothing happening. Um, we're, we're three episodes in and the only interesting stuff that has happened has either been quick flashbacks like Molly killing, mm -hmm. uh, the Reverend or, um, a, a complete illusion, which right. is with Selinsky, right. the guard sees, um, Nick. Uh, you know, has killed everybody in the hallway, but that didn't actually happen. Right. So, um, and here we are now, uh, where, where did it end off? He was standing out, um, at Castle Lake, wasn't he? Yeah, Isn't that where was. the episode, end yeah. the newest one, ended? And he, and he thinks he feels somebody watching him behind him, and, like, younger him is behind him. Yeah. So, um, there's a mentioning of doorways also. Um. Quite a few. Yeah. yeah. And... Of course, how do you get around in the multiverse? You go through doors, like in the drawing of the three. Um, but my, like I said, my problem is right now it all feels like fan service. It doesn't feel like a co coherent storyline. It just feels like a delivery system for Easter eggs. Now, I think we're in the next episode we might actually start getting somewhere towards a real plot. But I don't think I like what might be coming because of what happened with Molly... Um, at the TV station and the show and how she just conveniently hears all of Henry's thoughts and starts blabbing all his business out for everybody <laughs> in the town to hear. So convenient that now the whole town knows about all this so Henry can go visit our, our buddy Nick. And, the, yeah. Really? It, it, like it, 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 they're, really they're really reaching. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that there is more to this story and more happens than just trying to figure out who Nick is. Yeah. Because I, I don't... Honestly, I don't care to spend ten episodes wondering who Nick is. That's way I, too I, I want I want to get to it. I want to learn who he is, and I want drama to come from it. What's I mean? What another thing? Another big problem of mine is why are they keeping him a secret? Yeah. Um, is it is it only what? so they don't get in trouble because the guy just killed himself, um, and they don't want even more drama on top of it? I mean, it's not going right. to give them so, drama. It's more on him. Um, I guess what was Lacey's original purpose for putting him down there in the first place? Yeah, and the longer they keep him, the more prep they're going to get for it. Yeah. The, the harder it's going to be to explain away, you know, and they even say it in the show. Yeah. The longer you keep him yeah. here. Um, and why doesn't Henry just take the payout? Um, I mean, what... The, there, I don't like his motivations. Is he, is he only? I mean, if I were Henry in his position, I wouldn't want to deal want to deal with these people treating me the way that they have been since I got back in town. You take the money and you run, so right. you don't have to deal with their crap. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think that the mystery of where he went as a kid is a strong is strong enough to carry it either. No. There is nothing so far other than the amazing Easter eggs. They haven't um, dropped us enough clues to make us actually. Interesting. I would really like to hear if anybody out there is watching this show and is not a Stephen King fan like Shell, are you enjoying it? I mean, is there, I see, because the reason why I'm enjoying it is because I'm enjoying the Easter egg hunting. Um, that's the same reason why I enjoyed reading The Fireman, even though I didn't like The Fireman, because it was just a bunch of Stephen King, um, even though it was a Joe Hill book, it was just a bunch of Stephen King uh, Easter eggs. It was a fun experience, but it wasn't a good story on its own, and that's what I'm feeling now. Exactly. Um, it's not holding up. I mean, it's cool to be able to pick out some things from, like, the old... TV miniseries shows and stuff, but so far I'm just kind of like, well, yeah. this is happening. It, the the thing is, it feels like somebody had this really threadbare plot over here on the side and said, let's slap Stephen King's name on it and let's use this to deliver, you know, fan service. Um, because if there if there wasn't the Easter eggs, nobody be what. Let's be honest, nobody would be watching this show if this no. didn't have Castle Rock on it. People would probably have quit after the first episode. Um, at least I would have because it's just not my thing. Um, the mystery. I don't think the mystery is strong enough, so I'm hoping that there's more to it. We have seven more episodes to go, and hopefully more seasons after that. Because I'd love to see some Dark Tower stuff. I'd love to see some. Uh, 
I would love to see a Leland Gaunt storyline. I would love to see Needful Things again, but I'm also not sure of the timeline. You know, is the timeline, or what, is it an alternate uh, history, was it another turn of the wheel kind of thing, or did Needful Things already happen? Are we on a modern timeline and those things actually happen? Because we yeah, know we with, had Cujo... And with the flashbacks, they're not tying anything together, and it feels like they're just jumping from one time to another and yeah, going it, back, it, and it's like... Nothing's fitting. There's, there's nothing. nothing cohesive here, and it, right. it gets a little confusing. I, I think that's... I think that's the, the main problem that I'm having is, you know, there's nothing that's holding everything together. Yeah. Right now, like I said, probably three times already, it's a delivery system for Easter eggs. That's it. So, yeah. anything else? No, I'm good. Okay, so uh, this was the third episode. We were talking about local color of Castle Rock on Hulu. If you guys found anything that we did not talk about, if you wanted to talk about whether or not you're liking it or not liking it or whatever, if you're indifferent to it, if you're not even going to watch it, let us know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been Castle Talk with Shell. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.